Alexandria is number one hit music station. It is a Wembley Wednesday. On the phone with us is Mr. Wembley from the Alexandria Animal Shelter. Good morning, Mr. Wembley. Good morning. How y'all do? Doing well. We are yourself. doing yeah. good, Mr. Wembley. Doing great. Doing great. We're still holding it down best we can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us how COVID-19 has impacted you and, of course, um, the animal shelter. Uh, well, we, yeah, basically, uh, you know, we're public uh, shelter. Uh, and, of course, uh, with the uh, coronavirus, uh, all the city uh, facilities are, you know, basically close to the public. That includes the, uh, the animal shelter. And, you know, basically p- to prevent the spread of the disease, uh, you know, we don't allow public access. However, if uh, animals are here that people wish to reclaim the owners, uh, they uh, when they call, we set up an appointment where they can actually come and actually uh, get the animal and don't have to come inside the facility. We can do everything, you know, from outside of the gate. And, of course, we can bring the animal out to them. But, you know, one of the things that uh, we did at the shelter was consult the uh the state to see, uh, you know, what guidelines are handed down, you know, by the uh, governor's office as far as uh, operation of animal shelters. And it's pretty much statewide that, you know, all shelters are pretty much operating the same. Uh, we uh, limited our access to the public. We kind of decreased some of the services that we normally would offer uh, to the public and only respond to emergency type situations. You know, Mr. Wembley, I'm going to ask you this question. I've said it to my sister and my brother-in-law. Now would be a good time to adopt that pet because the whole family's at home and they can work on training that pet during this whole stay at home. So yes, have, have yes. y'all noticed a trend and uptick of adoptions? Uh, well, we've gotten calls, that, you know, and, and I think today we should be able to finalize, you know, our procedure as far as adopting pets from the shelter. We had uh, Miss. uh Tenta Jordan from the mayor's office come over. We went through all of the pets that are available. She's going to be posting the ones that are available uh, for adoption on our website. Uh, People can actually go on our site and look at the pets. However, they will not be allowed access to, you know, the uh, adoption area. But they can remotely look at the uh, animals that uh, are available, can give us a call, uh, give the information. We can start the paper process and also... The only thing they would have to do is actually come to the gate, pick up the animal, and make arrangements to uh, take it to a veterinarian. Can you tell us uh, that website and how people can get in touch with you guys? Uh, it's the COAAS City of Alexander Animal Shelter, and I think she's posting some information on the City of Alexander Facebook page. Uh, the only thing that we do, uh, you know, want to remind people is the first come, first serve type thing. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and also that. The number of pets that we have for adoption, we only have maybe 25 right now. Uh, our shelter count is, is down to about 31. Uh, we don't have any cats. Uh, all of our cats were sent to a rescue, and some of the dogs are being sent to rescues uh, to, uh, you know, get them out of the shelter because we have to still try to move the animals out. And one of the things that we have started doing is working uh, with uh, one of the rescues to take some of the pets. So we only have maybe 25 available right now. Awesome. Right. Don't forget to adopt. Don't shop. Thank you so much, Mr. Wembley, for calling us this morning. Well, thank you. I can, <laughs> also, people can call if their pet's missing. Uh, we don't pick up very many now because people are, you, we don't get those calls that we normally would get about stray dogs, stray cats. That's a good you thing. Know, unless it's an emergency uh, type situation. I mean, we can't, we limit the animal control officer's exposure, you know, to the public. Uh, unless it's an emergency type situation, you know, we're kind of restricting uh, the response to only those type calls. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Have a great one, Mr. Wembley. 